they want to make a difference. They're aggressive. Uh, when uh, uh, Donna and Steve got involved with the Rise School, uh, they decided to do something big, not just uh, do a, a golf tournament. Or they decided to get a ride uh, across Texas for Rise, and, and I mean, absolutely, Steve worked out. He he hopped on that bike. I don't even know if he'd been riding a bike before. And they rode across the state of Texas and raised a tremendous amount of money for a great cause. So uh, when these two get involved, they're going to do it. They're going to do it right, and they're going to be aggressive with it. They're like different sides of the same coin. They're really wonderful together. They're wonderful separately. They both are about uh, heart, intelligence, and experience. And what you've got with uh, Donna is that you've got a woman that is just a heart bigger than anything you've ever seen in your life, but that heart is also informed by her enormous intelligence and the experiences she's had in her life. And then you've got Steve, who has just one of the smartest guys I've ever met in my life, but his brains are very much tempered by a, a huge heart and by the experiences he's had in his life. They're emblematic of excellence in the game of life. Like so many of the prior winners, they have led a wonderful life, but they've led a large life. But they've also led a life that has been made even larger by a remarkable giving and a giving philosophy. They've worked really hard, but they, they share their money with other people. And when you're thinking about a, a cause like Caritas that's so important to all of us in this community, um, I, I don't think there's any better couple that, that could be honored tonight because of what they've given. Steve and Donna start with the idea of what is uh, the, the absolutely necessary and yet possibly impossible to do. And despite the fact that it's impossible, they work real hard to figure out a way that they and others uh, can achieve that goal. In business, they've done it. In their personal life, they've done it. But while we're celebrating them tonight, in philanthropy, they've done it again and again and again. Steve and Donna have pretty much saved the school because they have uh, um, done such a wonderful job in fundraising that uh, the school is getting closer to having its own building. It's been in a church. Um, the school is able to house many more students than before um, and I think primarily because of the involvement of Donna and Steve and what they brought to the table with the ride across Texas. The Child Development Center was created out of a tragedy and one of the things that I'm very pleased to report is that moms that come into this facility and some dads uh, seeking safety know that their children are going to be safe as well and that is a hugely important thing if you're working on putting the pieces of your life back together. They've got their kids close, they know they're safe and they're in a quality learning environment. That's pretty wonderful. Both Steve and Donna have always looked at problems from the standpoint of those in the organization. So long before it became fashionable to be, talk about servant leadership, uh, Donna and Steve had that as their standard. Donna and Steve, congratulations on receiving tonight's Harvey Pinnock Award because no one is more deserving. No one is given back more than you. You're givers, you're not takers, and Austin is lucky to have you. A lot of great things have happened for Sally and I since we've come to the state of Texas, but none more than the friends that we've made. And you two are at the top of that list. Thank you for allowing us to call you friends. Congratulations on the award tonight, and we love you both. I think first I'd tell them I loved them in every sense of the word. And second, I'd say congratulations. Well deserved. Donna and Steve, I am honored to have been asked to just be a little piece of this, um, of this uh, recognition for both of you. You are extraordinarily wonderful, and Donna, they did not get the resume mixed up with somebody else. I am absolutely certain that you are the most deserving. I uh, consider you both to be dear friends, and I love you. We are the one to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. Oh, there's a chance.